Hello everyone. And here I'm continue working on the IVA S7000. And uh, the issue with valve flutter was not the motor itself, but the condition of the cup stand surfaces where the belts running. I polished the primary surface of the cup stand belt uh, going directly from motor to the right cup stand. And valve flutter significantly improved. As you may see, frequency is stable from 3000 to 3001, 3002 gears. And like, it technically keeps pretty stable. Now, like I believe it is dropped to 0 0.05 to 0 0.06 from what I hear now, but I will measure anyway. So we are doing progress here and deck is closer to the final stage where it will leave. It's perfect life. As you see everything works. So this top cover here is possible to remove. It's like five screws plus you need to remove two screws from the front panel and like top cover which covers tape transport can be pulled out easily. Right? So no need to remove front panel to do it. Alright, alright, moving on. Let me test more Sirson. Hello everyone. I'm continuing working on this deck and it sounds really decent but what i mentioned that uh, there is linear slow six seven let me show you so the amplitude drops with the frequency but it drops linearly you see, it's just like uh, goes lower and lower with the near response, right? So the spin that deck response is different from Sony. Not the head. Head is still good because otherwise it will go straight and then uh, have a slope down like significant. So. That's interesting because like response is, is, is not up to standard. Uh, this ta tape is tested on like many decks, including my almost new Sony's pioneers, like um, Akai's, like I don't have complaints. So this tape is perfectly well, right? So, but if you see the slope, this means that it was, was made this way. Like, so it would sound as differently and like, because it's it's on the all ranges all ranges inclined right linearly uh when we listen in tape we don't hear that difference like i, I listen it even like dolby b tapes like and they play perfectly perfectly fine <laughs> it was surprise all right um what i will do i will install two ports in a parallel to resistors which uh, together with the capacitor uh, correspond to the incline of this response and make it flat so it will correspond to the old decks I have, right? It's it's not hard to do, like it's on the lower board, so like uh, I can do it anytime because there is like, uh, comparing to Akai or Pioneer, there is no pause for adjustment of the playback response, just two ports right here, these two white ones, which uh, change the level, not response, all right? So, interesting. So sonically, I cannot hear it, and it sounds sonically pretty interesting, maybe because of it. So I know if it's uh, like between 400 gears and 15 kilogears, four decibel, but it's fully linear. So like, that's what I need to change a little bit. All right, let me see. I will experiment if it will not help, so I will remove because I like how the deck sounds, but it will not be fully compatible. This recording wouldn't be fully compatible with other decks I have. All right, see you, bye-bye. All right, guys, uh, this deck is, is pretty interesting. You see, I'm installing two ports right here. And there was like four resistors, uh, two in a parallel for each channel. 
uh, to achieve 4.3 kilo ohm, right? So they use it 4.7 and 56 kilo ohm to achieve 4.3. I'm not sure. Sony just put 4.3. Um, what happened if I'm adjust? Uh, I get non-linearity in the response, right? So right now I get back to factory values, and it's. Uh, slowly going down like minus two decibel at 10 kilogears minus four decibel at 15 kilogears um i'm not quite sure what to do at this moment because like uh, it's linear and i i i, I would don't want to make it non-linear right so has response is is proper because otherwise it will be uh going down pretty significantly at the very end uh, like, uh, and it would be non linear as well, right? Uh, so, probably the issue is somewhere else. Uh, I will take a look. Also, I was like, while I was doing it and thinking more, I, I read the Tapeheads forum and I like, guys discussing like that S7000 sounds much better than like S9 sounds. Uh, that's like guys replacing capacitors, replacing the whole pumps, right? Uh, claiming that uh, 9000 has 4220 and 7000 has, I believe this one has GRC 2068 or something like that. And I, uh, but the, the issue is different. The issue is like that it uses uh, two electrolytic capacitors. 4.7 in the series, same as the Sony done like with 22s. Uh, after playback amp, before sending it to Dolby chip. And 9000 uses one microfarad uh, film capacitor. That's the difference. That's what affects the sound. Film will make it like uh, more clear with better stage, but not that dynamic as you want when you use it to listen to lots of like uh, bassy decks and so on. Like uh, those sound more natural, but they cannot give the same like uh, stage as uh, film capacitors, all right? So again, like I told you many times, so all companies experimented with designs. Otherwise, like it's simple, like use head, use like correction factor, and use amplifier, that's everything the same, right? But uh, they've been experimenting, trying to achieve a better sound, different sound, uh, distinguish themselves on the markets to make people buy their decks and so on. That was what's happening. Same I do, I experiment and trying to do a better sound out of, out of the decks. And that's why you probably like my channel. So, the more I learn, the more interesting like findings I do across multiple decks. Just for the case, imagine that board is only Dolby S board on this deck. On the final pioneers, you may see this board cut in half and see it from two sides of the middle stage on the decks with the tape in the middle, like 95. Like, uh, I believe uh, T1000, T1100, they, they do have it. Why this happened? Uh, because Sony uh, sold only these big microchips to other vendors. And there is the standard surrounding which should be implemented, right? So one channel uses all this space with all these parts for just one channel and one direction. That's the opposite direction to decode, right? And same for the other channel. That's why it uses that much space. And only on Sony decks, Sony uses uh, SMD design, smaller chips, smaller parts, when like the board itself, like uh, this size, like two inches by two inches per channel, all right? That was what's happening. And you see the levels like eight, 10 kilohertz started to drop. 13, 15, right? So not a big drop, but uh, significant, right? At least for the high-end decks. I was also thinking more. 
I figure out that tape transport technically is the same as in I was uh, 990, 770, and so on. Uh, with minor differences, right? And slightly increased cup stance due to taller height of the deck. But uh, in general, mechanics is pretty similar and it uses power of capstan uh, to engage different modes. So for example, even for playback, so it uses a relay which pulls up the command gear, which gets in, in touch with the capstan and rotates and uh, switch into different modes. Same as playback. What does it mean that uh, this deck cannot be considered high-end deck? because cup stands don't spin all the time. And when you start operation, while cup stand speeds up, so motor is not running all the time, cup stand should speed up. Plus we also push additional load uh, for the force of cup stand to pull the heads, switch the modes and so on. All right, so it will take first half a second of your recording or playback time. It's it's still nice deck and it sounds really nice. Like uh, probably out of the box, one of the most pleasant decks I've heard. But um, all in all, like it looks terrific, <laughs> but multiple design decisions are quite quite like uh, not obvious. All right. Stay with me, stay tuned. I hope I will find a solution. If not, so it still sounds pretty nice, pretty neat, because like it's, it's full of near response. All right, see you, bye. All right, guys, issue is solved. So two Vima capacitors, 330 pica farad in a parallel to the playback head. This is the magic. And now deck is fully corresponds uh, to the necessary standard response on playback you see there is no change through the whole range like 400 gears to 15 kilogears less than half decibel and i removed ports and installed resistors back so there is two of resistors on each channel so technically this mean only that uh, whereas it was designed like that which is hard to validate today or the heads got worn a little bit and I had to compensate for this wear. Uh, visually there is wear but it's it's not critical but like four decibel is, is way too much right now let me listen everything again and I would had have to retune recording uh, but uh, finally, I believe it will start performing as it should. See you in a moment. And you may ask me how I'm reading the Japanese manuals for Iowa decks, because this is not existent uh, in the English, right? So that you may select on Apple computer, right click, translate. Voila, we have text in English. That's nice. I like this modern technology. Hello again. Uh, and it's finally tuned it. Let me make it a louder. Source. Tape, so there is no difference. I tested all Dolby systems. All right, so including Dolby S. Everything is tuned to work perfectly well. Uh, the only, like, I still like without any Dolby system. Like, even in the source mode, uh, when I switch in, I hear, like, tiny differences, like, in the stage, and the very high frequencies. And when I, I record them without Dolby, it's, everything is clear, and everything is nice. All right, so, time to assemble. Spent quite a few time with this deck. The only thing I need to validate also is the digital DAC module. So now I will assemble 
and then like let's see how it will perform and here guys i'm assembled the digital dark module assembled and i'm recording uh, using external usb to coaxial interface and it works it sounds really great so like i really appreciate how they did sonically it's it's really cool um so i just stopped with music because like um, youtube may ban me for that so everything works now time to assemble and i would make a video when i will record and play directly through the rca connectors see you